Nigerian state has failed, and it has failed woefully. Why would I say this? Hello, my great and wonderful people. We welcome you once again to our today's episode of this program. And today we get some videos and messages for our team. We're going to be saying one quickly the review to you concerning the things. We're going to be saying if they happen right now for it's this country, Nigeria. Just as you rightly see one video from the introduction of these brokers, we're going to be saying what they received recently from Barista Dele Farotimi and also a human rights activist. Where he be saying if a commerce are openly to talk, say Nigeria don't feel. This one will be the first time when we say this man, they talk this word. And I know this very statement of Barista Dele Farotimi don't cause a lot of controversy between Nigerians. Why Ibisi, this man would they use that word, say Nigeria don't feel as a nation. But you know what we understand it is until we review to you this first message before we bring you the video of Barista Dele Farotimi when he be say in grant as a recent interview. All right, before you listen to that full video, may you first of all see this very message. Then I believe if you combine these two together, you will understand the reason why they say this man equally they use this word say Nigeria don't feel as a nation. Then another question will be say you will ask yourself now Nigeria feel as a nation. I've been at the politician feel the Nigeria nation. This one are some of the questions. First of all, listen to this one. This title of this one does say. How 58 former governors for inside this country that they allege say they loot 2.187 trillion naira. Yes, you hear us well. 2.187 trillion naira. Now, in this people thief for this country. You know, when they say that they use that word, they allege. It's not really the sound word with us because we understand, say, the thief for inside this country, na koro koro, na daylight thief, na either the thief us here. So if they, they use that alleged, it be like say that they try to like make us feel say not be true. All these things will be what they talk about na reality. And waiting make and this sad to each and every one of us. Among all these people, no one when it be say it did for DSS custody, no one when it be say it did for the custody of ESCC. No one want to be say as we they talk now. Say maybe the he pan down or he pan the goods or he properties in one way or the other. No, all of them they work out freely. They still they receive a lot of reward upon all this thing. And majority of them for this present administration that they hold vital offices. <laughs> all right, you know the reason why I say we first of all bring this message for Una to understand. If people like Barista Dele Farotimi, they use that word, say, this nation, Nigeria, don't fail. Make una understand the reason behind his own statement. Say, not be to exaggerate, but rather, if they talk things according to facts and figures. All right, maybe we'll do some more reading from inside this very one before we we'll bring una the full video of Barista Dele Farotimi. And as we put our hand deep for Issa Desmata, the comic us understand say, if the allegations of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, when ABC they say they call EFCC, now something when ABC anybody if you go by no fewer than 58 former governors for inside this country, Nigeria, when ABC they don't thief, embezzle, launder, and also misappropriate the sum of 2.187 trillion naira for the past 25 years. And still on top of the matter, the comic also understand, say, this figure, say, you know, includes the size of properties when it be say it day across the globe and others when it be say the day under investigation, when it they run into billions of naira, which is in another world. This uh, two point one hundred and eighty seven trillion naira, it not include the properties when it be said this people gets for this country or outside this country. Now just only the money. <laughs> 
And this money, so what basically they talk about, so he passed even state some state budgets for the whole year. He passed where it did for the hand of few people. And what it make matter worse, these people now, people want to be say EFCC know their house address and they know their name and their surname. They know what it, where they, they live and what they, they do as present as we talk right now. No one, when it be say siren, they blow for their compound. But the small, small Yahoo boys, they once want to be say Tiff Maggie and Tiff Baza Baza, now, those ones with the C for other ground. What can happen to these people? These are some of the questions when they say they bother us. When you they hear people like Barista Dele Farotimi, they use that word constantly. Say Nigeria don't fail. But we won't try to correct one impression. Say not be Nigeria as a nation fail. Now, the politician fail this nation because Nigeria still remain very much intact. Just as God bless us and create us. Yes. No matter what this is pollute for inside this country, Nigeria still remain tender. Yes. Now the politicians, now they fail us. Not be Nigeria fail. If these people decide to change today, this nation will automatically get a turn around without any doubt. All right. For us to conclude this matter, they can make us understand, say, the 2.2 trillion naira when it be said disciple thief, say it the equivalent to the Lagos State 2024 budget of 2.25 trillion naira and the entire Southeast State's 2024 budget when it be said now 2.29 trillion naira. This money would be so they talk about so when it be 2.2 trillion naira when it be say dissipative so it's still this several billion higher than the north central states of 2024 budget when it be say now 1.89 trillion naira and north east when it be say now 1.6 trillion naira. The 58 former governors, the AFCC, they probed. They investigate and also they persecute. This one are waiting to draw all parts of this very country since they return to the civil rule on May 29, 1999 for inside the 36 states of this country, Nigeria, when it be say in no less than 170 governors. All right, my great and wonderful people. Now, only this of you take from this very message when we say what they receive right now when it concerns the 58 governors when it the thief or don't thief uh, over 2.187 trillion naira as we did talk right now. With that, we don't waste any of your time. We'll quickly leave you, make you hear. The one when BC would receive from Barista Dele Farotimi, where EBC if a commerce are officially again to toss in Nigeria, don't fear and give your own detailed reason concerning your own statement. We'll come back for more. Asking yourself, is it not working because people are failing to make it work or because they are succeeding at what they had set out to do originally? Because surely. If nobody seemed capable of making it work, it could very well be that it was designed not to work. At what point do we really begin to consider the possibility that maybe what is happening is what was proposed to happen? So when you consider the lot of the Nigerian, the objective reality of the Nigerian, it becomes plausible to begin to ask the question, is the state itself the enemy? The Nigerian state has failed the citizens completely because in that most basic of duties, the primary duty of the state, the Nigerian state has failed and it has failed woefully. Why would I say this? If you look to the relationship of those named citizens in Nigeria and the state which is responsible for the governance of the Nigerian space which, which 
principally means that it is responsible for the security of the lives and properties of those who live within the Nigerian state, you then find very quickly that it is next to impossible to pretend that the Nigerian state has provided any sort of protection to the victims of the Nigerian state. If you have a system of governance unyoked to law that has now created 37 states, because that is the net effect of the enthronement of Mr. Bola Metinubu, Abuja is more or less your 37th state. How they'll deal with that incongruity later on is entirely up to them. But key this in. You have 37 centers of power at the state level. Each one of these 37 centers have multiple local government units beneath them. Altogether, you've got 774 of those. And then you've got the behemoth known as the Federal Government of Nigeria, which takes in every benefit and then dispenses based on more or less an, a sultan emir arrangement up and down the length and breadth of the country. In the midst of all of these, the interest of those who occupy these power sharing centers, which are more or less money dispensing centers, matters by far more, and it is the entire recent act of the state. The police, the army, every law enforcement agency, in the absence of the rule of law, have been repurposed to preserve these persons in power. And they would even occasionally do battles in the services of these persons. So you can think back to the Ayabelo EFCC drama, where policemen protected Ayabelo from the EFCC. You get it? Yeah. So in the absence of laws, these have dissolved into private armies that sometimes work at opposite ends of each other. So, when you now begin to look at the choices being made by these multiple money dispensing units, you find very quickly that they work in tandem to ensure that the people are kept ignorant. Because it is in the liberation of the people's minds that questions will be asked of their enslavers. So the first thing about which almost all the ruiners of Nigeria are agreed is the need to keep the people stupid. Is it beyond the capacity of the state to ensure that the Nigerian is properly indoctrinated to do good, is properly trained and has a functional brain? Is it beyond the capacity of the state? I say no, that is not the case. It is a deliberate choice of the state to keep the, to keep the Nigerian like that. It is deliberate. The state simply stopped investing in education because it realizes or realized that an educated mind is not susceptible to slavery or serfdom, which is all the Nigerian state has in place for the victims of the Nigerian state. I grew up shouting up Nepal. I'm thankful that my children are so privileged that they don't understand the meaning of up Nepal, but they do understand that a lot of money goes to buying diesel or inverter. And then I asked myself the inevitable question. Is it that the rulers of Nigeria have been so grossly incompetent that electricity generation is beyond their capacity? Is that the case? That successive governments of Nigeria from during the first coming of Obasanjo to the Shagari years up until today it's been impossible for us as a people to master the art of generating electricity in spite of billions of dollars spent 
we don't appear to have increased our electricity generating capacity throughout my entire lifetime. This has been a struggle in place all my life. Generating electricity is beyond the capacity of the Nigerian state and people. Public water works have become rarities in this country in the 21st, the 22nd century. We can't even have public water works. I live in the Lekki Peninsula. There is no public water works anywhere in Lekki. Even Lekki phase one where they have rudimentary ones, I'm not sure if it still works. You have to admit to the fact that what you are seeing is what it is. It cannot possibly be that it is beyond the capacity of the Nigerian to generate electricity. It cannot be beyond our capacity to design an educational system that is fit for purpose. It cannot be beyond our capacity to have functional infrastructure. It cannot be beyond our capacity to have a system that works for all. It simply cannot be that we are incapable of doing the right thing, except perhaps maybe the state itself is truly the enemy. Maybe things are the way they are because this is the way the state desires that it be. At some point, we're going to have to consider is the Nigerian state the enemy, or is the Nigerian state a facilitator of good things? These are questions that must necessarily be asked. I have come to the conclusion that the Nigerian state is the enemy because its design intention and choices have not been made with the people's welfare as the overarching interest or the reason that has governed these choices. All right, my great and wonderful people, I believe see, you don't hear the breakdown from this very man. We don't get any more to add. Everything will be said we need to talk. We don't talk come from the beginning. And also, this man don't also explain to us the reason why EBC he get this mindset towards Nigeria. Just as we talked earlier, Nigeria as a nation, no fee at all. Now the politicians, now they feel the nation and also the citizens. Because why I use that word, not pass BC, if we decide to make things right as politicians today, this nation still gets everything when it be say it take to turn the citizens and also the land around for the best, to make this nation an enviable place for the entire globe. All right, I will leave you to share your own opinion with us on the comment section. If you believe, see, waiting we talk, saying a lie we talk, you share your own opinion with us on the comment section, even as we draw the line here. And before we say final goodbye, one quickly you this medium to appreciate you for your time. When BC to stay with us up to this very moment, God Almighty will bless you. And equally, the way when BC to help us share this broadcast, your likes, your comments. All of them, we appreciate them. I beg not forget to help us share this very one so that we still reach our brothers and sisters all around the world because we believe in what they say, information, not power. And as we do so, God Almighty will bless you. We would like to draw the conclusion of this program here. We will see you again when we see you. Remember, we love you all. Bye-bye.